Today we are installing a 900 by 900 mm frameless glass shower screen. First, measure the base of your shower screen. To mark the centre of your fixed panel, measure out from the internal corner of the shower 870 mm. This is the centre line of the glass. On the opposite side where the door shall be positioned, measure out from the internal corner 878 mm. This will also be the centre line of your glass. Using a spirit level, position the bottom of the level on your previous mark and mark a line 1,800 mm high. To mark where your clips will be positioned, from the floor measure up 200 mm and mark a line on your glass centre line. Then mark another line at 1,800 mm. Repeat these steps on your opposite fixing wall. Using a 6mm tile drill bit, drill your holes on the two marks of your glass centre line. Repeat this to both glass centre lines. Now it's time to mark your base clips. Repeat the marks you have done before from your internal shower wall being 870 millimetres for your fixed panel. Then mark a line using a straight edge. This will be the centre line of your glass. Now to mark your door panel line, measure 878 millimetres from the wall and draw a straight line to meet with your previous glass centre line. On the base of the fixed panel glass centre line, measure out 50 millimetres from the wall and make a mark. This is where your first clip will be positioned. Then measure 100 millimetres in from the end of the fixed panel line. This is for your second clip. Now measure the clips for your hinge panel. Measure out 50 millimetres from the wall and 200 millimetres for your second clip. Drill holes in the marks you have just made. Clean away the excess dust. Using 6mm green wall plugs, insert them into all drilled holes. Cut off any excess plug that is sticking out. Now you are ready to fix your clips. Using a 30mm 8 gauge screw, place your clips over the drilled holes and fix them firmly into the base and the wall. Make sure the grub screw is facing the inside of the shower. Undo the screw in the clip to leave room for the glass to slide into position. 
Repeat this with all clips. Make sure you clean all of the marks you have made as you will not need them anymore. Now you are ready to insert your glass. Place a towel on the ground. This will give you a good protective surface to rest your glass while you install it. Before handling the glass, make sure you are wearing high grove gripping gloves for safety. For a level base, cut some rubber block to approximately 5mm in thickness. Place this block in front of each clip as you should never have glass resting on a hard surface. Installing the glass is a two-person job. Pick up your fixed panel and carefully lower it onto your blocks, inserting it into all four clips at the same time. Check your glass panel and make sure it is level. If it is not level, change your wedge size to bring your glass panel level. Make sure there is not more than a 12 mm gap between the glass and the wall. Anything more than this will give you difficulties when sealing your shower. Once your glass panel is perfectly level, tighten the grub screws on the clips, making sure they are extra tight. Repeat these steps for the hinge panel. Be very careful not to chip the corners of the glass. Measure the width of the door opening. The gap you need to allow for the door opening should be 608 millimetres. Please adjust the hinge panel accordingly to reach this measurement, making sure all panels are level and openings are even. Tighten up the hinge panel clips. Using a sanitary grade clear silicon, Fill the gap between the glass and the wall. Spray water over the sealed area before using a high grove silicon spatula to scrape off the excess silicon. Repeat this action until all excess silicon is cleared. Now repeat this on both sides of the glass. Allow silicon 24 hours to set before you can hang your door. It is imperative that the silicon is completely cured before you can load the door. Now you are ready to attach the hinges to the hinge panel, making sure the screws are facing into the shower. Place the hinge on the glass. Make sure the edge of the hinge is in line with the edge of the glass. Then tighten your screws. Cut two by 10 millimetre blocks and place them in the door opening. Make sure the door does not rest on any hard surface as this can shatter the glass. Lift the door into position and slowly place onto the rubber blocks. Carefully place the door into position and fix the other part of the hinge and loosely tighten. A good way to ensure even gaps is to cut a 4mm wedge and slide down between the glass panels, making sure you have an even gap all the way. Tighten up the hinges and carefully remove the blocks. Once the blocks are removed, check your gaps are even and the doors swing freely.
Cut the excess block away from the bottom of the glass, leaving part of the rubber underneath for support. Seal the bottom of the shower. Highgrove Glass Solutions